Okay, we're here with CA Josie. We're gonna be demonstrating the prolordotic neck exerciser. This is a great tool for general mobility in the neck and also used as a warm up prior to cervical spine denny roll use. So we're gonna start with position number one. We're gonna extend arms at about a 45 degree down position from horizontal and then extend the neck fully back. And we'll hold that for a few seconds and then we rest arms and neck at the same time. And then we'll do, at home you would do 10 repetitions, but we'll just do three or four, where we extend the arms and the neck at the same time as a pumping action. So here Josie's gonna demonstrate a few more. You do the neck extension at the same time you extend the arms. Again, when doing this at home, you do 10 reps per position. One more time. We'll extend the arms, we'll extend the neck, and then they both come back at the same time. And then from here, we'll just walk the cords up to the mid portion of the neck. And we're gonna straighten the arms out straight ahead. Now we extend back, focusing the curvature in the mid cervical spine, and then we bring back arms and neck at the same time. And here you will do 10 repetitions at home. Josie's gonna do two or three. We extend arms and neck at the same time. You can come back. We can go a little faster for a pumping, pumping motion, basically. There we go. And then after 10, she would rest there. And then the last spot is we would work the band up to the base of the skull. And here we're gonna extend arms about 45 degrees above horizontal, extend our neck all the way back, and then we rest arms and neck at the same time. And here we'll do a uh, pumping action here. Josie's gonna demonstrate a few reps, but we want 10 reps in this position. Excellent. And once she would finish 10, she would come back to the original starting point, working the uh, prolodotic all the way down. One thing we didn't touch upon at first, but your very first rep, put your arms out to the side and then stretch first. That makes sure there's no kink in the cord makes your prolordotic last longer. So now she's gonna go back to that position one, 45 degrees down. She's gonna extend her head fully, and now she's gonna rotate gently from side to side. And here you would do 10 repetitions on each side. She'll just do a few more. She can extend all the way back, and she can stay extended and just keep the rotations back and forth. So here you continue, and once you reach 10, you are all done in this position. Neck can rest, arms can rest. And same thing like we did before, now we're gonna walk up to the mid part of the neck. We're gonna extend arms fully, we're gonna extend the neck, and then we're gonna hold that position but rotate from side to side. Again, when doing this at home, do 10 repetitions on each side. That looks great, and then you can rest there. And then same thing, we walk it up to the base of the skull. We extend arms fully, 45 degrees above horizontal, we extend and now we rotate again. Doing this at home, 10 repetitions on each side. And that looks great. And the final step is lateral bend. So we go back to position number one, straighten the arms about, out, extend the neck, and now we just gently try to touch ear to shoulder. This one is very easy to fall back into doing rotations, but we really wanna do more lateral bend. So again, doing this at home, 10 repetitions each side. That looks great. And Josie's gonna show you just like we did before, we're gonna walk the prolordotic up to the mid part of the neck. Then we extend the end arms straight ahead, extend back, do 10 repetitions on each side when doing that at home. And that looks great there. And then we can demo the last position where we walk it up to the base of the skull. We extend the arms 45 degrees above horizontal, and then we side bend. Perfect. Again, at home, we do 10 repetitions of each position, and that serves as your warm up. Thank you, Josie.